good morning student today discuss about that bio botany and biology the chapter 6 the unit of life that continuity lysosomes lysosomes say it's called a suicidal backs of cells it's called suicidal back of cells uh, lysosomes were discovered by christine d jew in 1953 this are known as suicidal backs they are spherical bodies enclosed by a single unit of membrane this is you know is covered by single unit of membranes they are found in eukaryotic cells only for eukaryotic cells lysosomes are small vacuoles formed when small pieces of golgi bodies are pinched up from the tubules so lysosomes in a uh, form of golgi bodies so golgi bodies is to produce to lysosomes small back in small pieces are develop by so separate ago it's called they contain a variety of hydro hydrolytic enzymes that can digest material within the cells so the contents of variety of hydrolytic enzymes materials within the cells the membranes around lysosome prevent these enzymes from digesting cells itself so the cell membranes around lysosomes uh prevent this enzymes some of the enzymes are there the digesting the cell itself functions is a very important one that functions intracellular digestion the digest carbohydrate protein and lipid present in cytoplasms they are digest everything carbohydrate protein and lipids in cytoplasms atopagy page sorry atopagy you will ask two more question during adverse conditions the digest the own cell organelles like mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum that is called autophagy auto means automatics so own cells organelles like mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum they are digest everything 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 they are digest autolysis digest the own cells organelles like mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum autolysis means lysosomes cause cell destruction of cells aging lysosomes have autolytic enzymes that disturbs intracellular molecules that is called aging enzymes of lysosomes atp to adp and phosphates are produced Phagocytosis. Large cells or contents are inculped or and digested by macrophages. Thus, forming a phagosomes. Some in cytoplasm. Phagosomes in cytoplasm. These phagosomes fuse with the lysosomes or for the digestion. That is called phagocytosis. Large cells or contents are inculped the digest by micro sorry macrophages. so actually the large cells some of the large cells uh, so enter the digest by macrophages the forming phagosomes in cytoplasms these phagosomes fuse with the lysosomes and for the digestion is called phagocytosis exocytosis exo means outside lysosomes release the enzymes outside the cells to digest other cells so lysosomes uh, release their enzymes so out say outside out the cell of digest other cells is called exocytosis that also functions everything is functions next one micro bodies eukaryotic cells contains many enzymes bearing membranes enclosed vesicles called it's called micro bodies eukaryotic only for eukaryotic cells so enzymes bearing membranes enclosed vesicles some of the vesicles are that is called micro Uh, what is they are single unit membrane bound cell organelles so single unit the same also so lysosomes also single unit examine peroxisomes and cleoxisomes peroxisomes this is a peroxisome structures of peroxisomes peroxisomes were identified as organelles by christine d jew they are same it's a 1960s ones peroxisomes are small spherical bodies it's a spherical bodies and a single membranes bound so single membranes are bound in organelles it takes part in photorespirations and associate with the glycolate metabolisms glycolate so photorespirations and glycolate metabolism they are take part of uh, metabolisms it plants leaf cells have many peroxisomes 
plants leaf cells or how many paroxysomes are there it is also commonly found in liver and kidney of mammals so leaf also is many paroxysomes either then kidney and liver kidney and kidney of mammals they are also found in paroxysm they are also found in cell also protozoa and yeast also have that paroxysomes next one glyoxysomes glyoxysome was discovered by harry viveris 1961 it is a single membrane bound organ so lysosomes paroxysomes uh, glyoxysomes they are so everything is a single membranes it is subcellular organelles it contains enzymes like glyoxylate pathway so involve the glyoxylate pathway b oxidations of fatty acids occurs glyoxysomes germinating seeds example castor seeds next one sporosomes it is a spherical shape in enclosed by single unit membrane example storage of fat in the endosperm cells with oil seeds also that is called that is called sporosomes next one centrioles centrioles consist of nine triplet peripheral fibrils made up of is called tubulin is called tubulin nine and uh, triplet peripheral fibrils are made up of tubulin the central part of the centrioles is called hub the central the central part of the centriole is called its name is called hub is connected to the tubules the peripheral triple triplets by radial spokes so 9 plus 0 patterns la they will connected that ever all the triplet uh, peripheral fibrils is called tubulin the central part of centriole is called hub the hub is connected to the tubules peripheral tribes the or radial spokes the centrioles from the form the basal body of cilia of or flagella and spindle fibers so centrioles the functions of centrioles form the basal body of cilia or flagella and spindle fibers that time they have formed the basal body of cilia or flagella which form the spindle apparatus in animals cells the membranes is absent in centrioles non membranes organs so non membranes organs so that, that is called structure of centrioles that uh, they are three to four nine so the micro tubules that is called triplet they are connected with the connecting fibers so all the that is called micro tubules next one vacuoles in plant cells vacuoles are large bounded by single unit membranes called tonoplast so they will ask one more question tonoplast is a vacuoles membranes is called tonoplast the vacuoles contain cell sap which is a solutions of sugars amino acid minerals salt waste chemicals and anthocyanins pigments also everything is present in the vacuoles beetroot cells contains anthocyanin pigments in the vacuoles vacuoles accumulate the products like tannins also tannins that also is a vacuoles accumulate products the osmotic expansions of a cell kept in water in chiefly regulated by vacuoles and the water enters through vacuoles by osmosis so osmotic expansions of the cells are kept in water water is are presence in the vacuoles only the water enters into the vacuole by osmosis process the major functions of plant vacuoles is maintains water pressures known as a tugger pressures which maintain the plant structures vacuoles organs itself here storage sequ- sequestrations compartments example vacuole store most of the sucrose of the cells sugar in sucrose beet and sugar cane also then malic acid in malic apple acid acetates in citrus fruits citric acids flavonoids pigments cyan cyan tin in three rutinocytes in the petals of anti rhinium so next one that is called vacuoles vacuoles also is very important next one nucleus nucleus is an important unit of cell which control the all the activity that is called nucleus the nucleus hold in heredity information it's a pro- so heredity information so one generation to another generation uh, somebody so told that uh, you are uh, look like a father or look like a grandmother grandfather so the reasons the genetic materials is called dna deoxy ribonucleic acid that is called nucleus the presence of the nucleus so long tata mari irka appa mari irka abdin bangliya so adukku reason vandu idhula irukkakudi and the nucleus dna is called nucleolus 
hereditary informations nucleus hold as the hereditary informations it is the largest among the cell organelles it may be spherical cuboidal ellipsoidal or discoidal they are many structures are there it is surrounded by a double membrane structure is called nuclear envelope that is called nuclear envelope so double membrane which has the inner and the outer membrane they are uh, inner membrane and the outer membranes the inner membrane is smooth without without uh, ribosomes and the outer membrane is rough by the presence of ribosomes it's con continuous with irregular and uh, infrequent intervals with the endoplasmic reticulums so two membranes are the inner membrane and outer membrane outer membrane have a some of the ribosomes are attached to this so it is rough surface that inner membranes no ribosomes uh, the uh, the intervals with the plasmic reticulum the membrane is performed by force known as is called nuclear force some of the force are so that so holds some of the holes are the, that is called nuclear force which allow metals such as mrna ribosomal unit proteins and other macromolecules to pass under the nuclear that way only they are entered to the ribosomes or everything uh, the pores enclosed by circular structure called annuli the pores or annuli is form a pore complex pore complex the space between two membranes is called uh, types of chromosomes based on the uh, position the centromere is called they are different types are there one is metacentric and the submetacentric acrocentric telocentric they are four types are there based on the positions of centromere chromosomes are called telocentric so terminal centromere is called telocentric means terminal centromere acrocentric terminal centromere capped by telomere is called capped by telomere is called acrocentric uh, submetacentric centromere subterminal submetacentric subterminal so that and the metacentric centromere is median so both sides are equal that is called satellite chromosomes mm. the eukaryotic chromosomes may be rod shaped so it's called telocentric sorry it's called rod shaped it's called telocentric acrocentric and acrocentric that is called rod shape l shaped so it's called submetacentric l shape submetacentric and v shaped metacentric is called v shaped uh, metas based on the function of chromosomes can be divided into autosomes and sex chromosomes autosomes and sex chromosomes autosomes are present in the all cell controlling somatic characters is called somatic characters for in human diploid characters of in organism human diploid cells 44 chromosomes in autosomes two sex chromosomes so total is 60 46 chromosome in humans so 44 chromosomes in the all the somatic chromosomes all the all the humans are same uh, next uh, another two chromosome that is called sex chromosomes male or female so consider that male or female so i uh, determine, uh, determine the chromosomes are sex chromosomes so only xx yxy that is called sex chromosomes where two or sex chromosomes sex chromosomes are involved in the determination of sex next one special type of chromosome it is very very important one this one uh, these chromosomes are large in size and are called gain chromosomes so large in size so is called is called gain chromosomes in certain plants they are found in the suspensor of the embryo the polythene chromosomes and the lambros chromosomes occurs animals are also called gain so gain chromosome there are two types one is polythene chromosomes and is pros lambros chromosomes they will ask very important five mark questions called gain chromosomes polythene chromosomes observed in the salivary gland in drosophila fruit fly that plant salivary glands are identified the eg balbians in 1881s and some insect uh, the interface chromosomes duplicate and replace reduplicate without nuclear division nuclear division silamle angana nanukudu so without interspace of uh, insects that is called special type of chromosomes a single chromosome which is present in multiple copies from the structures called polythene group so single chromosomes so divided into multiple copies are produced in multiple copies that is called polythene chromosomes which can be seen light microscopes can see only light microscope they are genetically active 
they are dextrins alternating dark band and the light inter bands are there that is called dark band and then light inter bands are there dark band and light so about 95 percentage of dna are present in bands 5 percent of inter bands so 5 percentage of inter bands the polythene chromosome has extremely large buff called it's called balbian rings it's called large buff circle the no that is called balbian uh, rings so they because that balbian is uh, discovered this <coughs> this chromosome so they are given that am um, balbian rings which is in uh, seronomus larvae it is also known as chromosomal buff buff of band or the site of intensive rna synthesis here is produce the rna synthesis as these chromosomes occur in the salivary gland it is known as salivary gland chromosomes they are so many chromosomes are there one is polythene chromosomes ba next one uh, um, salivary gland chromosomes and then special type of chromosome they are called other name is called different type of names are called so gene expression transcriptions of genes and rna synthesis occurs in the bands so that bands also so so gene trans expressions transcriptions gene and uh, rna synthesis are produced this band only this the, the band along with the polythene chromosome the diagram is very important so you have to label the all the parts because that sometimes ask three mark questions also so very very important this one next one lambrus chromosome this chromosomes also is very important one occurs at the diplotin stage of first meiosis prophase in woo sites of animal salamander and the gyne nucleus of the unicellular archaea acetobularia lang chromosomes so occur at the diplotin stage first meiosis prophase first meiosis prophase woo sites of animal salamanders and the gyne nucleus of unicellular archaea acetobularia so first observed by Fleming in 1882. This type of chromosome first identified the Fleming. So first identified the absorbed by Fleming. In highly contents chromosome form a chromosomal axis. It's called chromosomal axis. Form the chromosomal axis from the which lateral loops. DNA extend result in intense of RNA synthesis. Here also is a RNA synthesis. That is called Lambrose chromosomes. Next one, flagella. It's a flagella, prokaryotic flagellums. Bacterial flagella. So, helical appendages help in motility. So, what is the purpose of flagella? It's a motility. So, movement to one place to another place. Uh, another another place. They are much thinner than flagella or cilia of eukaryotics. The filament contains proteins called flagellin. Some ask you that one more questions. That is uh, the filament proteins contains which uh, is called flagellin. The structure consists of basal body associated with the cytoplasmic membrane and the cell walls with the short hook and a helical filament. The structure consists of basal body. It's called see tissue, basal body, cell wall, and then. plasma membrane is called basal body basal body associated with the cytoplasmic membrane cytoplasmic membrane means plasma membrane and the cell wall with a short hook and a helical filament is like called flagella bacteria rotates uh, rotates the helical flagella and the propels rings present in the basal body which is involved in the uh, rotatory motions with the spins and the flagella next is structure of flagella in bacteria the gram positive bacteria contains only two basal rings are there s rings are attached to the inside of peptidoglycan and m rings is attached to the cell membrane that is called uh -huh. it's called s ring so attached to the plasma membrane another one is Uh, S ring is attached to the inside of peptidoglycan, and the M ring is attached to the cell membrane. In gram-negative bacteria, two pair of rings of proximal, two pair of proximal and distal rings are there, connected by a central rod. It is called central rod. So, negative bacteria they are connected by central rod. They are L means lipopolysaccharide rings. L means it's called L. L means lipo. 
polysaccharide ring that is called L ring. P peptido glycan ring. It's called P is called peptido glycan ring. A super membrane ring. Super membrane ring and a M is a membrane ring. They are four types of ring in the bacterial negative bacteria. The outer pair of L and P is attached to the cell wall. Outer ring is a P and L is, is outer the cell wall. The outer pair of L and P ring is attached to the cell wall. And the inner pair of S and M ring is attached to the cell, first cell wall and then plasma membrane. So that uh, ring is S and M is ring is attached to the plasma membrane or cell membrane. Mechanisms of flagella movement. So it's called proton motive force. It's called proton motive force. Flagella rotations only proton movements involved and not ATP. So uh, flagella is a rotator that movement involved in protons only, not for ATP. Protons flowing back into the cell through the basal body rings of each flagellum derives to, to rotate. These rings constitute the rotatory motor. The ring is a constitute the rota rotary motors. The proton motive force derives the flagella flagellar motors. The proton motive force derives from the flagella motor. What is proton motive force means? The force derived from the electrical potential, sorry, electrical potentials and a hydrogen ion gradient across the cytoplasmic membranes. It's called for the rotations of flagellum of energy derived from proton gradient across the plasma membrane generated by oxidative phosphorylation. That method here produce the energy. In bacteria, flagellar motor is located in the plasma membrane, whereas oxidative phosphorylation takes place. So that, uh, that place also, so located like plasma membranes also, oxidative phosphorylation are take place. Therefore, plasma membrane is a site of generation of proton motive force. That, uh, that only the rotate the flagellums ring. Next one, eukaryotic flagellum, cell motility. So motility means, so uh, movement. Structure, eukaryotic flagella are enclosed by unit membrane and is arranged from the basal body. So enclosed by the unit membrane and arranged the basal body. Flagella is composed of outer nine pairs of microtubules and two microfilms in the center. That is called this, this type of method in uh, eukaryotic cells only. Uh, nine, uh, nine is the outer nine pairs and the microtubules and the two microtubules are center. Flagella or microtubules projections of the plasma membrane. Flagellum is longer than ciliums. Uh, ciliums. The structure of flagellum has a axoneme made up of microtubules and a protein tubulin. They are that is called ion pair of ion membranes. Ion in the outside. The two is in the inner side. That is called centromicral tubules. Microtubules and a protein tubules. So the action means made up of microtubules that is called microtubules and a protein tubulin. It's called protein tubulins. Movement. Outer microtubules doublet is associated with axonomial dynein which generate force for movement. Axonomial dynein is which force for movement. The movement of ATP is driven. So movement of at the time the ATP is driven, uh, interactions between tubulin and uh, dynein in the mechanism for the constructions of cilia and uh, flagella, tubulin and uh, dynein. It's uh, very important that the interaction between tubulin and uh, dynein in the mechanisms for the constructions of cilia and uh, flagella. Dynein molecules use energy from ATP to shift to the adjacent microtubules. That is called microtubules. So, the energy is produced the microtubules, so adjust, adjust on the microtubules, dynein. Molecule use energy from ATP to shift the adjacent microtubules, that is called microtubules are adjust. ATP is so energy is used, that energy the adjust on the microtubules. This movement being of uh, cilium or flagella, flagella. Next one, cilia. Cilia is a plural or short cellular numerous microtubules bound projections of plasma membrane. 
Psyllium is a membrane bound structures made up of basal body, rootless, uh, rootlets, basal plate and a shaft. They are the, the shaft or axonym consists of nine pair of microtubules doublet arranged in circle along with the periphery into two central tubules. They are also same. Eukaryotic cell. So that also same. Nine is oh, the diagram is not there. So arranged in the circle along with the periphery with the two central tubules. Nine plus two. So arrangement of microtubules is present. Microtubules are made up of tubulin. The motor protein dynein connect the outer microtubules pair. It link them to central pair. So connected to the outer pair and uh, central pairs. Central pairs and the outer microtubules are pairs linked to the central pair. Uh, next in links, the peripheral doublets is a microtubules. It is called periphery regions, the doublet of microtubules. So the lessons are over. Now I will give you a uh, today test. Uh, today test. Uh, explain, explain the structure of nucleus and the functions. So very important, diagram also is very important. Next one, explain the functions of nucleus. Uh, sorry. Sorry, explain the functions of lysosomes. Sorry, second question. First one, explain the structure of nucleus and functions. Next one, explain the functions of lysosomes. Third, give account on peroxisomes. Explain the fourth one, explain the structure of chromosomes. Explain the special type of chromosomes. The two types is the no, Alambros chromosome and polythene chromosome. That is, the diagrams also is very important. Explain the types of chromosomes. Metacentric, acrocentric, that, that chromosome, that types. Ask chromosomes is very important. That all the questions are important, so the five mark they will ask. This lesson diagram is very expressly, the diagram is very, very important. Three more questions they will ask diagram only. Okay, today class is over. That lesson is chapter is completed. We will see the next class. Thank you.